Welcome back my fantastic artistic friends to another episode of Painting with Master Temple. We've got a black gessoed canvas today. This gessoed canvas has been allowed to dry completely and then on top of that we've put some liquid, uh, liquid clear on there and added some transparent colours. We've got Indian yellow, Elizabeth crimson, we've got a violet around the edge. Up here we've got phthalo blue and a bit more violet a bit of the same colours down here. What we're going to paint is a nice little fire, a campfire. Okay, I, I think Bob Ross once explored this in one of his earlier episodes, but we've done it a few times on another channel. I thought I'd share this, this little image with you guys right now. Before we start, I just want to thank everybody from around the world that is actually subscribing to the channel and, and giving me a big thumbs up and let me know where you're from. So if you're watching this and you're from anywhere in the world, let me know where you're from, my fantastic friends. Right, let's crack on. It's all slick. Let's let's go for it. So I'm taking a little fan brush here. I'm just going to use some of this white. Now this is zinc white. It's Winsor & Newton's Winton colours, and it's zinc white. I thought I'd give it a little bit of a change. I'm so used to um, titanium white, but I thought we'd use zinc, and it's very, very heavy. <laughs> of course. Okay, so just a little bit of white up here. Okay, just a little bit of white because it's got phthalo blue on the underside it will start to pick up that that phthalo blue and give us a nice little midnight sky a little wispy sky we're going to put a moon in there at some point and as we get less paint on the brush and we pick up more of that that color that's already on the canvas the transparent color will get darker as we come away from the light source we're going to have two light sources in this painting which is quite unusual but Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Okay, so there we go. And before we carry on, I'm just going to kill the light. Just like that. So just add a little bit more white to this. Now we've sorted the light situation out. Okay, just, just, just blend it out. Blend it out. Okay, down here we're going to have some water. So what I'm going to do is just take some... In fact, we'll get some more white on there. And just pull straight down. Okay, just like that. Now, it looks a bit brighter than what the, the is in the sky, but don't worry about that because we're going to blend some of this out. Okay, and this is not as main focal point, though it is one of them. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a nice, big, dry brush. And I'm just going to tickle all this out. So I'm just going to tickle this out. Just like that. Just tickle that. We're going to come and put a moon up there in a moment. And down here where we've got some white, there's a little bit more around the edges of that, that shimmer just there. Very gently pull down, very gently. Seems to have got a bit of purple in that. That's fine. That's okay. That's all right. We don't mind that at all. But pull straight down. And again, pull down with a big brush. Okay, and we should work on the water a little bit later on. There we go, there we go, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little sun up there. Uh, sun? <laughs> it's cause the sun's shining so bright outside. Okay, a little bit of a moon, just a little indication, just there. And we might need another one down here as well. Okay, like that. Okay, get the knife and just scrape it off. Just scrape it off and then just tickle that away, just like that. Just gently side to side, there, like so. Go over the whole canvas, happy days, happy days. Right, so let's set that brush down. Now we need some background material. So I'm gonna take the same brush that we had the white on, just wipe off the excess white. We need some something in the distance here. So I'm gonna take a, Let's have a bit of crimson, get a bit of purple and blue, just thrown in there, just see what colour we get. Of course, the white being on the paintbrush, we should have a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a whiter, paler colour, and we're just going to tap down, just like so, and give the indication of some trees, some evergreen trees, are way, way off in the distance. Just like that, just tap down, pull down. Don't leave too big a gap between. But if you see what I'm doing, I'm making a U shape. I'm, I'm basically surrounding 
the moon there. Okay, just a bit more paint like that. Up we come, up we come. We're going to put some other big trees in the front here, so maybe change the flavour a bit, grab a bit more crimson. Such a nice colour to contrast against that blue and white. And it may be hard to see all this because of the uh, the darkness of the canvas and everything, but it is nice. It does look nice. Okay. There we go, up there as well. All right, let's just pull a couple of those down. Don't have to go too crazy. I'm gonna put some things in the foreground here, but if we can give us a bit of an indication, that's all right. That's all right. So just there and there, all the way across. Again, we need to pull these down as well, just to just to work them into the painting. All right, so let's mist that up. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a little soft blendery brush. I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of this white, not much, and just mist the base. See, see how much it stands out against that black canvas there. We'll just keep tapping, just keep tapping. It's so soft, it's pony hair. Pony, or is it goat hair? I can't remember. I can't remember. Work your way up, work your way up, work your way down as well. Just like that, like so, and then lift up slightly just take out the tap marks take out the tap marks there. and then just pull these straight down it's so soft we can go over the whole thing without distorting it too much there like so okay we need some big things now up here so i'm going to take the bob ross half rounded brush one of my favorite brushes i think you could paint a full painting with this at some point i'm going to mix some color so i think we'll take a little bit of Prussian blue, maybe a touch of white, and we'll grab back to the crimson again. Maybe a bit of red as well. Bright red thrown in there. But predominantly, we'll just use that old colour as well. Predominantly blue. I want a nice, cool contrast to the red flames that we're going to have later on. Okay, half rounded brush. Load it full of that colour. Okay, go a bit more of the blue. Okay, we'll see what we get. We'll see what we get when we get up here. If it's too dark, we may have to lighten it up. Now I can see that perfectly fine, but I'm having a, I'll have a good stab that you guys will struggle to see that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lighten it up in a moment. Okay, just put some background material in. Just there, in case that up. There. Now I'm going to take some titanium white and mix it into that, into that blue colour. So we've got a baby blue colour now. A baby blue colour. And then we're just going to load, load this half rounded brush full of this baby blue. So it's basically. A little tiny, let's load a little bit more in there. A little tiny bit of crimson, purple, phthalo blue, and white now. A lot more white. We can work around and pick out some individual little clumps of trees that are living out there. And again, the contrast against the crimson, the crimson evergreens that we put in there, it'll just, just jump at you. So I do like these, these coloured canvases like this, multi-coloured canvases. Okay, let's go on to the other side now. So I'm just going to lift this up there like that. Again, we don't have to go too mad. This tree is just living slightly off canvas and his, his arms or her arms, we don't know, are just coming into, into view just there. Okay, so now we've got a nice deep recess in our canvas. Okay, and then we'll just put on a little bit of shrubbery. I don't like that word. I've hardly used it lately. I forgot about it. And then I watched an old video of mine, an old painting video of mine, where we use the word shrubbery in there. It doesn't seem right, does it? It's not, not, it's not a right word, but 
sometimes us artists, I'm an artist in more ways than one, you know. Sometimes us artists, we have to uh, we have to make words up that fit. Okay, just there uh, like that. Just bring it round and down, and again a bit more there like that. We're coming to the water line, aren't we now? We could change the flavour a bit. I'm gonna grab a touch of crimson there, just like that. And then maybe turn the brush upside down and put a few little reflections in there. Of course, we'll come back and sort all this reflection lark out. Put a little water line in eventually at some point. There, like that. Okay, now, now I've got that colour on the brush, I'm just going to grab a bit of the purple. Windsor and Newton's purple. Add it to that colour and then I'm going to put a few little, a few little do for you do's up here. Now I hope you can see that, that's a really dark, dark purple. If you can't, that's no problem, because we're gonna, we're gonna absolutely work on this very soon. I'm just gonna add some more of this foliage material here and there. So they've got, it's got that white, phthalo blue, and a bit of purple. I don't wanna go too mad just here because we're gonna add some flames. But just a few little trees, just lurking back here, just like that. I just wanted that part to be brighter than what's what's up here. And then again, into the water, we need a few reflections, not too much, just the odd indication. Right, now, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Right, so this had the crimsons on that we painted the tree. So I'm gonna put a little bit of greenery in that. So, but of course it won't be green, it will mix with the crimsons that are on there. But by adding by adding green, we've got a nice browny colour as well. And of course, we'll just tap in there, where we say is waterline, we're gonna be about there. Just tap in a bit of, bit of mud, a bit of sludge, a bit of sluggery, whatever we've got, just there like that. Okay. That will come around there eventually, just like that. Okay, since we've made a brownie colour, in fact, I'm just going to grab some burnt sienna and add to that. I'm just going to put a few tree trunks. And again, you may see them. They're there. Just a few. Just lurking here and there. In fact, we can take a script line, a brush, get a bit of thin oil. Now, I'm using thin oil, which is... Which is uh, which is basically linseed oil. We'll grab a few of these and just just put a few sticks. You probably can't see them. I'm not gonna go mad. Remember it's night time, okay? Let's shut that out of the way. Okay, so now we need to work on as fire. We'll come back and do all this, you know, uh, at some point. But I'm gonna work on as fire. So what I'm gonna do is take a, a rounded brush or a filbert brush. We'll use a filbert brush to start with, see how we go. And we're going to have like flames coming up, up here. So this is going to be the place where we want our fire to be. All right, so first thing, let's grab a bit. A grab of, well, I say a bit, a fair old chunk of cad yellow. And I'm just going to push up. Just push up. The cad yellow is quite thin, it's cad yellow, so it should really go onto that canvas quite easy. All right, now that shows us where his main part of his fire is going to be. We don't want a massive fire because it's going to end up burning all this lovely forest down, but just a nice little campfire on a little bit of open part of the uh, the grassland just by the by the rain, uh, by the lake. Okay, maybe a bit more there, like that. Okay, again, just push some down into the water there. Just a bit of colour, just to reflect that. All right, wipe the brush, just in case we picked up any dirty colours. I'm going to go into, let's go into some orange. Okay, 
So don't even clean the brush, just wipe off most of the excess. I'm going to put a bit of orange in there, at wherever you want this, uh, these flames to be, just put them in. I'm just tapping up, creating all kinds of little flamey things. And again down here, just put some, some in like that. So that's a, doesn't have to be a replica of what's above because we're going to distort it. We're going to make it flicker. Cad red. Okay, this is cadmium red. And again, I'm just going to push in a little bit of this cad red. Wherever, wherever. Because there's a lizard and crimson on the canvas as well. The more we tap, the more darker it will become. Okay, a bit of cad red down here. Just like that. Maybe it's up there. Okay, now we've got a massive, massive fire. All right, let's set that brush down. Um, what I want behind this fire, maybe let's put some more little bushes in. Now we know where this fire's gonna be, we can start to put some, some little bushes and things in there. So let's grab a little bit of color. What's this? There, and let's lighten that up a little bit with a bit Again, we're going to get a little bit of light from both sides, the moon and the uh, the flame. So let's let's see what we're going to get there. A lovely purpley colour, just like that. This little tiny tree that's that's not quite woken up yet. A little bit of light on there as well. It comes down a little bit there. Lovely colours, fantastic colours. Maybe there's another one there that's, that's highlighted by the fire. A couple here and there. Let's just squeeze a couple in wherever we should put them. That's where we should put them there, like so. Again, a little bit in the reflection. Don't have to go mad. Just like that. Okay, now let's work softening this, this flame up, okay? So take a really dry, okay? I have not used this one yet. I've used another one there, okay? And I've left that to one side. This is dry. And we're going to wave his way up. So just really weave and wave. Just very gently take it up. Take it up, okay? This is almost like a makeup brush. I suppose you could use a makeup brush. All right. Not that I ever would do. That'd have, that'd have cost me my life, boy, if I'd start taking uh, <laughs> things out my wife's, um, you know, dressing table and stuff. Okay, so there we've got a little bit that way and then go down this way as well. Just pull, pull, pull that there now we've got a nice flame it looks like it's moving and flickering and you can pull it you can pull the flame there like that okay that's a lovely fire that isn't it bit too bit too raging but uh it's a lovely fire. Let's put some stones around the base of that. So first of all, we need a little tiny rounded brush. Let's um, let's get some liquid white and a bit of black. Okay, let's make a nice dark gray color. Okay, there like that. Okay, and then let's go through some just light liquid white. So I've, got, I've double loaded the brush. So I've got gray on both sides and then just a tiny bit of liquid white on one side. and all being well we'll get some nice little highlights from this fire just like that a little bit from that side from the stones that are holding this fire in place because we don't want it to get out of hand do we we certainly don't and again a couple down here for reflection like that swirl that off now we need to sit this on something so i'm using odorless thinners folks when i'm cleaning the brushes so now we need to sit this fire on something 
and push some of these trees back. Okay, so let's take this fan brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the green. I'm running out of space on the canvas. Yellow ochre and green. Okay, we don't want a bright green just yet. A bit more green in that. Maybe a bit of blue, darken it off a bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna work this in there. Just tap it in, just tap it in. And then a bit more back here. So I'm gonna have to sneak the brush back here. And I'm gonna go over those trees that we put in there and it'll push it all back. It'll push that tree back. Yeah, like so. And then come across right over the stones. Right over the stones. <coughs> Excuse me. Right over the stones. Now then. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Of course, a little bit on the reflection side. Maybe it ends just there, that one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It'll all come to life soon when we put some water lines on. Now I'm going to take a tiny bit of the cad yellow, just a tiny bit, that same brush, that same fan brush, tap it in, and every now and again I'm just going to highlight this grassy area, so we'll go down there like that. Alright, we put the base of the grass in, and now we're just using this. Now if you've got a massive, massive canvas, this brush is doing the exact same thing as a two inch brush, it's one inch wide, and it's doing the exact same thing to create grasses like a one inch, uh, sorry, a two inch brush would do. Maybe a bit more there, like that. Comes down. We don't know. We don't know. Maybe there's a bit of a sparkler there. All the way across. Mm, looking nice. Looking nice. A bit of a lump there that we need to highlight. And then maybe a bit more of a highlight on there. I'm gonna change the flavor a little bit. I'm gonna grab some of that liquid white that we had a little bit earlier on and just put a little bit on there. Maybe not too much. Gone too crazy there, boy. You <laughs> Gone too crazy there. Okay, so if that happens, just keep tapping it and it'll go away. It'll go away. It will go away and leave you. And you've learned from that. There, like so. Maybe fetch it down there. So the water's meandering away. Okay, I'm going to darken this off a bit more. Okay, so just let's get a bit of Indian yellow into that. Maybe a bit of yellow ochre. Maybe a touch of bright red. Just a touch. We want something on this green around here, so not much because we've got the brown on there, the crimsons already. But I just want to put a bit of an indication that there's some grasses down there, like that. But they're far away, they're further away. We can't really, we can't really tell. And they're living in shadow, I suppose, from all these big trees. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Well, we've got got that. We're going to pull some of this grass straight down. Pull that grass straight down. Grab a bit more of that colour. Straight down, straight down. Straight on top of your fire. Because remember, this is in front of the fire. So we can pull that straight down there. A bit more there, there, there and there. I'm going to get a softer brush in a moment. Put that down. In fact, what's this one had on it? This one's got nothing by the looks of it. So again, whoo, get that little... Little flies, a little moth attracted to the flame. Straight across the whole thing. Straight across. Same on here, just pull a bit of that down. Straight across. There, like so. Now we've got water. So we've got a little campsite fire with some water. Now let's take, let's take the knife. Let's grab some liquid white. Put it up there. Bit of that zinc white 
in there just to stiffen the white up a little bit. And let's put some water lines in. Okay, so parallel. The blade must be parallel to the base of the canvas or it just won't look right. Okay, and then just let's cut in as little water lines. Keep it parallel, even if we're going around a corner, around a bend, going away from you. It's got to be parallel. Like so, and then this one's a little bit further in front of us, so we can use a little bit more of the white, make it a little bit more shinier, I suppose. There, like so, and then again around this one. So it's where the, so it's just where the wa the water meets the land. There, there, and there. Beautiful little flame, this. Keep reloading the knife as well. Might look like there's a lot of paint on the knife, but you're only using the very, very tip across some of these, some of these reflections as well. Just put a little, little place where the old trout's jumped out. Little pike, whatever. So I think we're about finished there. So wipe the old knife out. Let me know if you're gonna try this one. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice simple, well it's, it's simple-ish. You know it is. Okay, I'm gonna go into some bright red. It's simple-ish. Gives you a good use of the tools and equipment and also gets you used to, to contrast and color. It works on that black canvas really well. And if you do, if you do, do this one, just sign it there, take a picture, send it to me, the links are down in the description, I'd be glad to see what you, you guys are doing, but until next time, take care of yourself my fantastic friends, stay safe, and as always, happy days, I see you.